one of the exciting components of this building is it is multidisciplinary. So nursing students, anatomy students, biology students from arts and sciences, as well as the human health sciences students from our school will all be here studying and working together. That was talked a lot about uh, in the planning stages that we would have a very wide open space where we could accommodate a lot of people because it would give us some functionality that we didn't have in the Moore building for sure, and nor is there this kind of space in any of the other buildings on campus. Yeah, I, I think having um, communal spaces is really important in academic buildings. Uh, many times that's kind of overlooked because uh, there's a lot of learning obviously in classrooms but also outside of class. And when we have these communal spaces, uh, it'll encourage students to uh, collaborate with each other, share ideas, and it also builds this sense of community that'll help them in the long run. Our simulation labs are incredible. We have eight of them, and uh, we had three back in the Moore building. Um, but we have these spaces that can be outfitted as a labor and delivery unit or an ICU or an emergency department, uh, whichever way we want to make the spaces up to be. And uh, students have been pretty impressed by that. The hoods um, that we have in chemistry are, are state of the art, the, the fume hoods, which is really important in chemistry labs. Um, in bio labs, uh, we have these snorkel hoods in the physiology labs, so the students could really study the specimens uh, safely. And I think it's a, a really exciting time for uh, teaching these science classes at UNCG. One of the really nice things about the nursing instructional building is we have some dedicated space for community engagement and community research. And so that has allowed many of our teams to get together that couldn't get together before. For example, postdocs, graduate assistants and faculty now have some space where they can work together as teams. We pushed for a number of things, uh, including a lot of glass, uh, so that we would get natural light, but one of the most important things that I recall is the skylight that's up on the fifth floor that brings natural light into this atrium. The other thing was we wanted the colors in the building to really mimic um, outdoors, so there's lots of greens and blues and kind of beiges. Uh, and browns that would mimic um, outdoors. Yeah, as a former science student myself, I think this new format is gonna be really uh, cool and it's gonna be very conducive to learning. There's uh, open space. You don't have that boxy feeling. The natural light also contributes to this sense of, uh, of openness and uh, perhaps gives the students these psychological benefits and uh, strong desire to continue learning. Many of our classrooms and many of our laboratories have been refurbished over the years. One, because our programs have grown and we've grown our research spaces. And so many of those spaces, even though they're very, very nice, um, have been refurbished and, you know, are circa 1960s and circa 1970s. So I think any student and alumna walking here, walking into this building, will be really appreciative of the work that UNCG has devoted to the resources.